the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends so last lecture we saw about for and wild condition so this is chapter 17 <clears throat> and what we are going to be seeing in 17 is a function so what is a function at a high level we know you know when we have a function at a home and so forth with nature we call it as a function right so let's see how this function what a function is and how to write a function how to call a function in python let's take a deep dive namaste friends so in today's lecture we'll be seeing about something called a function the function marks the first main you know um, ingredient towards programming languages not that you know the remaining ones were you know less important they were all important we were actually like you know uh, climbing in the ascending steps but right now get into the world of lot more complex and complexities so here we are in the function okay so a function is basically a block of code which only runs when it is caught okay uh, so how do i actually say this like always let's actually take an example and let's actually run it okay so this is my example i actually copy paste here i define my function and i say print hello from a function and then i call this function it is not going to run till i call it but when i call it it is going to say hello from my from a function all right likewise if i can actually take this and if i can actually say define function here i say first name I say print first name plus whatever this is okay and then I say my function I call email Tobias Linus what this is going to do is let's actually see what this is going to do okay I'm going to say the basic thing if you see here okay this is a pure mathematics I've set my function inside this is my first name so wherever this is I'm telling my first name plus I'm giving this constant this becomes a constant and then whatever I say email present in whatever I say here it says that plus this that this plus this this plus this that is what it is doing did I did I communicate are we clear here let's move now there are two arguments okay there are two arguments and then i say first name i say plus but this is another one and there is a last name now let's see what comes here it's the same okay because it is the first name plus this thing i'm just adding this thing does not come into picture so this is what it is now let's take a place where it actually gives an error I've given a first name and a last name okay so in this case I have given two arguments but here there is only one argument so this is wrong when this is wrong it is going to say it is not going to give anything because it is expecting two arguments so missing one positional argument of last name so you need to give something so whatever you give here you need to give here as well you need to call the function as well it's not only defining you need to call it as well did i now are we clear here now let's actually take this here this is the argument so my function the star becomes my argument and then i say the youngest child is blah 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 and then this kids of two and then i call this email my function let's see what it gives it says the Angus child is Linus. You know what this is doing, my friends? 0, 1, 2. So the entire kid here, which has been taken as my function, it says the Angus child is the third guy. See how what all we did, the 0, 1, 2, the negative indexing, the positive indexing, now it is actually making sense so this guy let me you know if you if you see here this is like pure mathematics okay let's take a pure mathematics approach here the star is something 
constant okay the star is something like an argument that i want to try okay and then what is actually happening here is this has been defined as a function and then I say print. So print is just like, you know, garbage in, garbage out. And here I'm giving an argument. So now what happens is my function, that star of kid, which can be of anything, has become my email, which is my, this is zero. Um, it has become my Tobias, which is one. It has become my Linus, which is two. Okay, so this becomes as my function and then when I'm actually calling the skids of two, it says printing is just printing the youngest child is this thing, Linus. This is the way it is actually acting. Okay, now does it make sense? Am I communicating? Are we clear? uh this part okay i'm just trying to see where i am oh here okay slightly more complex but you know it's more or less the same here three arguments and child of three so the child of three is again linus only right let's see see again the linus so you can also do it in this manner or in this manner instead of giving the star and everything is the same So now there are double stars and I say my last name. So basically his last name is Refsness. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. So this double star did not make a difference here because anyways we know this is what it is going to be. If at all, if I have to say something, see like whether it's a single star also, like we gave three arguments here and the double star, you know, we are also giving, you know, more or less it's the same. Okay. Uh, but the only thing, the only thing I would like to say here is first name, we are giving something, last name, we are giving something. And then here with the kid, we are passing two arguments. So maybe that is why the double star is. Okay. Now let's actually take this. Same, see like double star, my function, the country is Norway and then I'm telling like, you know, I am from this particular country. So, and then I say like, you know, I am from Sweden, I am from India, my function and Brazil. Um, I'm sorry, this actually came here and you know, it actually over overwrote here. Uh, my function and then like Brazil is my country. So let's actually take the country equals Norway. It says like I am from Norway, um, I am from Sweden, I am from India, and then like you know Norway, I am from Brazil. Let's actually see. See, I'm from. See, this is exactly what it is. So we have actually seen this, and that is we also seen the mathematical way. We are also now seeing how it actually gives. My function is my food for x and the food print x. So let's see. I'm not printing anything here. I'm just telling like this is what my function is. I'm calling my function. I'm calling my function. So when I call my function, which the fruits, it gives me apple, banana, cherry. I'm defining my function and then I say return 5 times my this thing and then I say 5 times 15, 5 times 3, 15, 5 times 5, 25, 5 times 9, 45. Let's see the answer. Bingo. I'm defining a k and then if I say k is greater than 0, the result is k plus something print the result else this thing 
and then you know this is just like you know like one three six and it's just like a tri cursion you know it's basically like increment of three okay tri recursion it's called recursion examples okay all right if you want to create a function we define a function if you want to execute it you call the function okay these are the two arguments two parameters inside the function and you have to give both this is the way you actually return if you don't know the number of arguments that will be passed into the function there will be a prefix you can actually add in the definition and this is the prefix if you don't know how much you're going to do this is exactly what we did okay so look into this again this is a way you define it by calling it you will actually call it by this you have to call both the parameters this is the way you return and if you don't know how much it is then it is the star again my sincere suggestion is start practicing without practicing you're not going to know anything so let's see you know even in this thing I've given everything the same I just put a notepad for easy understanding the pass is the pass um, you know we, we also tried all these things as well uh, okay so if you have any questions you know whom to contact I'll be very happy to answer any of your queries to the best of my abilities until we see next time take care cheers namaste friends I trust you have actually enjoyed my functions if you have any questions please ask me I'll try to explain to the best of my abilities. <clears throat> like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. The other is my wife, Jayashi, for allowing me to follow my passion. Till we see next time, take care. <laughs>